Hi guys, RachyBop here. Welcome to today's video in which I am going to be talking about the differences between Home Street and The Sims Mobile. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Home Street has just been released today in the App Store and is a simulation game and on looking at both the trailers for both Home Street and The Sims Mobile, you would think that they play out very much the same. They're both completely free and they do have in-app purchases. The Sims Mobile isn't technically out yet, it's soft launched in a couple of countries and like I said, Home Street's been released today. Sims Mobile plays like a legacy game. It's very much focused on one household, you play, you collect heirlooms to then progress your game in future generations. It's heavily legacy based. Home Street is very different, it's structured and while The Sims Mobile is also structured you can also go off the beaten path and do your own thing. Home Street is very much almost like The Sim and I keep calling it a Sim but your character within Home Street is basically just a representation of you. So it's just someone there that you can design and dress up and whatever similar to the sims mobile that the create a sim part of it is very similar initially i thought home street was to the sims mobile what city skylines is to sim city kind of a lesser graphically pleasing version in my opinion when you actually get into play them like i said they're very different games home street character doesn't have needs you the structure of it is much more similar to SimCity Build It than any other game that I've played. You have to collect certain resources to do certain things and complete tasks, unlock things. It's hugely similar to how SimCity Build It plays out. Not in the way it looks, but just in the mechanics going on behind the game. The Sims Mobile looks a lot nicer. The graphics are a lot nicer. Home Street is very basic and blocky in terms of the smoothness of the characters but the animations in Home Street are way beyond any that I've seen in any other app. They are just beautiful, so dynamic, so exaggerated and really fun. They make you smile as they play out. The Sims Mobile is a smooth game, characters get to where they need to go when they need to get there it runs really smoothly and that works really well with what they're doing with that game. Let's just draw the line and say these two games are completely different. They surprise me a lot how different they are. Both are worth getting and when you do get them let me know which you prefer in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about these I do have access to both the games so please let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to answer those for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!